And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mid-range frostbite. This is our third deck that we're going to be playing for the seasonal tournament that's going to be tomorrow on Sunday. As you all know, if you've been watching the last couple of days, we're going to be playing Taric Draven and we're going to be playing Poros Give It All and now Midrange Frostbite. This is the deck that I kind of expect my opponents to ban more than others because how this format is, is you enter with three decks, your opponent um, bans one of them, and so then you just play with your other two decks and um, you have to win, win uh, you know, basically best two out of three. You got to win with both of your decks before your opponent wins with both of theirs that are left. So I'm expecting this deck to get banned a lot, but still want to get some practice in with it. It's a, it's also a deck that I've played just a ton over the last few months, basically ever since Sejuani um, was printed in the Rising Tides expansion. Um, I've been playing this. This was a deck I played on day one of that expansion, actually. A lot of other people were playing Aggro and Control, and I was playing Ash Sejuani Frostbite day one. So I'm very familiar with this kind of deck. I am going to be trying something different from what we've played in the list recently over the last couple of weeks. I want to try some Rhymefang Wolves. Um, been, been hearing some good things about Rhymefang Wolf. It's a card that I loved back in the day. I, I used to love playing this deck with Rhymefang Wolf and with Legion Drummer. Love that combination. Um, but we're going to try Rhymefang Wolves these days, see how they go. Um, playing it over the one... I had one copy of Averroes and Sentry and also one copy of Captain Farron. And we're gonna try playing a Rhymefang Wolf instead of those two. And we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, like, in, you know, could could revert back. Um, my plan um, for the for Sunday, tomorrow, I am planning on, if my opponent's playing a Freljord and Shadow Isles control deck, that's, that's, you know, like a Nivea control or Feel the Rush with Trundle and Trindamir, that's gonna be my number one pick of decks to ban and um i think that i think that both afros and sentry and captain farron are going to be better in that matchup than what rhymefang wolf's going to be how they'll die to avalanche and things like that um so uh and like you know like how afros and sentry whenever it dies it draws a card and captain farron can finish out games but since since we don't really need it need uh, those cards for that matchup i think rhymefang wolf can be better against some of the other decks like like against fearsome for example the two one isn't going to be able to block against fearsome and captain farron's going to be way too slow against fearsome where rhymefang wolf uh, can be a good blocker and challenger and things like that so uh yeah so we're going to try rhymefang wolves um but just you know like if we get paired with that matchup no that's that's going to be the number one deck i'm going to ban so my plan is ban that deck if they're not playing that deck and then they're playing fiora shen i'm going to be banning fiora shen because that fiora shen is just awesome and just really versatile and that's a difficult deck to play around so those are those are like my number one and two and then also like the targon allegiance that's that's going to be my number three um you know with like the dragons and aurelian soul and concerted strikes and all that kind of stuff like it's like that kind of deck, it can be really difficult too. So those are going to be my my top choices of decks to ban. But let's get to some mid range frostbite. Um, thinking about so we're we're going to play our, our games like the last two days we played 20 games with each deck to get a lot of practice in. Think about playing less games with this deck and maybe playing a gauntlet or two uh, for some good gauntlet practice because I am expecting this deck to get banned more than the others and I've also had a lot more practice with this deck as well. Hi, baby. Fiora Shen. All right, so let's see how Midrange Frostbite matches up against Fiora Shen. I think it should match up fairly well. Frostbite cards are good against barrier cards. Now, um, I really like Avros and Hearth card, but I don't know if I can keep it with nothing else earlier. I am going to keep the Harsh Winds because, like I said, Frostbite matches up well against barrier. Thanks, Ducky. Uh, yes. If I have shards for one deck and I want a main deck, what should I go? Twisted Fate, Elise, Gohard, or Jinx, Draven, um, or something else that you recommend? Those are both. Those are both really strong decks. Um, I think that yeah, I think you can have good success with either one. So basically, what that's a, that's great about this game is there isn't like a a definite answer of of uh, craft this. Either of those are great choices. So craft what you're gonna have fun at playing. So you know, like what what's more interesting to you that you're gonna enjoy? Craft that because you're you're gonna have success with either one. A 
Oh, there's my Ramping Wolf. Ramping Wolf has a 4-3, pretty awesome. Thank you, Omen Hawk. Sorry, I just I cannot get these dogs to stop barking. I hope this works. Yeah, you like aggro? Then yeah, go Jinx Draven. That's a good one. Hopefully this works. They have one card, Sharp Sight, that would save it. No, don't have Sharp Sight. Oh, I guess they could... It looks like they made single combat. Yeah, I bet... I bet sorry, so I bet that card single combat. Yep. Which, we'll take that. That is a two two for two trade, but that's just how it is. Hey, you did a great job protecting the house from like a little doggy walking on the other side of the road. You did a great job. All. all right, another Shen. <laughs> My favorite deck revolves around me figuring out how to maximize Pup Gabs. I like it. That's a good, good place to start. All right, what if I... Frostbite. A chill in the air. That thing. I think I'm doing the Shen because I have the Brittle Steel that can target the Chevalier. Where are we at? We're at two out of five. Because I couldn't, I couldn't really go with um, Culling Strike on the Shen because of uh, single combat. So that's three. But I think we're good. Like I was still saving the mana where I could, you know, play all of these this turn. Um. Okay. Yeah, I was basically debating on like, do I want to level up Ash or not? A new will rise. Hmm. Looks like we got a cool deck, Teemo Sejuani, but unfortunately they have Ezreal. Ezreal's not as cool as Teemo Sejuani. Um, let's mulligan that. And I'm gonna. I think I'll keep these. Let's see, we're getting the, the hearth guard, but I already have like a one and a two I like, so I think I'll just keep the hearth guard. Cool, Culling Strike's good. Yeah, Puff Cat Peddler is a really underrated card, isn't it? It's a, I really like that card. I think that's that's a card that people just don't play enough, just in, in general. And and uh, yeah, we're talking about like Ezreal Swain. You know, Ezreal Swain that's playing the uh, Tribeam and Probulator. Or, you know, like, uh, Pupcat Peddler just fits perfectly there. Who goes there? Mm. I need just a moment. I'll cut them a face me! So we'll see if they use a troll chant. Oh, Fury of the North. Huh. Season. Okay, well. I guess that works. I was thinking they'd use a troll chant and then I would culling strike afterwards. But I guess not. Wow. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what these happen. I do feel like I really want to culling strike one of these two. These two cards are both awesome. Like th this is what this is the backbone of their deck: Starlet Seer, Popcat Peddler. We have, hmm. So which? Okay. So which one am I gonna actually calling strike? I'll do the Peddler, but I don't know. Like basically, it's like 
do I want to keep them from tr from making a very large unit or from putting a bunch of puff caps on my stuff that kill me and level up their Sejuani and all that kind of stuff? These stories were true. Cool. So we drew the Enraged Yeti. That was the other thing. I didn't really want to play Babbling Bjerg and have Babbling Bjerg just draw the Enraged Yeti. Behind you, a Yeti! Yetis? There's no such thing. Minding details is my duty. Hot on the train. Yeah, you should just kept Cooling Strike for Teemo Ezreal. I don't know. Peddler. Peddler is super scary. I'll recite your bites. Blessed by snow and stars. Okay. So use the troll chant to save four life. They walked around. And deal two damage to my babbling beard. Um, usually I do donation decks like the next day or two day or two days. It's not it's not usually a very long queue. But also I'm I'm very flexible. So whenever you do it whenever you do a donation deck, you just let me know. Okay, that's two health. Alright, so yeah, so that th that thing's just gonna die. If you have a if you have a like I never do it like that day. You know, like let's say you do like a donation deck on a Monday, I'm I'm not gonna also play it on, on that Monday. It'll be the next day at the earliest, but I'm very flexible. If you have any specific day and time slot that you want, you can let me know. So, you know, you you do a donation deck on a Monday, and then you can be like, hey, can you play this uh, on the third slot on Wednesday? And I'll be like, perfect. You know, I'll write it down, and I'll put it right there. So, um, basically, every slot's always open, so very flexible in that regard. The War Mother will unite us all. Yeah, then, yeah, so I have meme decks on Monday, which I have a couple of, I have two donation decks for Monday. This would be a good winter. I feel like I'm probably going to need the, the spots on the board anyway. So I guess I probably want to play Sejuani on my attacking turn. scary perfect love that draw so i didn't i don't really want to play trapper because i don't want to draw enraged yeti but i, I love harsh harsh winds draw so this blocks my four four that's fine you can block the four four does not ruffle our feathers. so maybe i should you know, like i could have put like the oh seven over here by the omen hawk if I wanted to try to, you know, put more pressure on their life total, but I think I'd rather with the Sejuani being, like if the Sejuani wasn't elusive, maybe I'd do that, but with the Sejuani being elusive, I want to try to kill it. Wield your fury. This would be a good winter. All right, they're down to six. And now, now, now that we have the harsh winds, uh, we can put the enraged yeti on top. Of course, we know that enraged yeti doesn't have any puff caps. Also, there's only five in the deck. So that's a card that certainly doesn't have any puff caps. I 
will unite the Freljord. You have never been strong enough. Who's a good boy? Slippery. That level you up, Ash? Nope. Brittle steel, the two two, and then attack. Today we fight as one. Now I'll kill the Sejuani. We'll have the Starlet Seer block Wolf. Wait, why is this thing going to zero power? Why is the Teemo getting frostbitten? The calm before the storm. I don't really know why. I'll lead us to victory. Why is because you know the Sejuani gets frostbitten here? Why did it say the Teemo was gonna have zero power? Okay, that was just a. Oh right, right, right. Sejuani. Oh right, right, right. Okay, it's it's talking about Sed Sejuani. Like the Hearth Guard hits him. I guess I sh I should have been paying attention to Sejuani level up. It's just Sejuani level up happened so unfrequently. I I could have made my attack a little bit better for that, but yeah, that's all right. Only the strong survive. That's something to remember for tomorrow. With this deck that just happened so so little that I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> now begins a new era of peace. All right, GGs. Twenty-eight hours from now, is that right? Twenty-seven hours from now. Yeah, I think four hours from now tomorrow is when the tournament starts. Lisa and Zed. Okay, we're gonna have some challengers and some frostbite. Okay. It's just one point of damage I'm miss I'm missing out on. I guess I could have led with the glory. I guess I could have just played the glory seeker and then, yeah, I guess I should have just played the glory seeker. But the the thing I like about this, yeah, I probably should just play glory seeker. If they go Zed, then I just go Ice Veil Archer. Um, but I was thinking that you know I still get to save mana for Brittle Steel. I need just a moment. Looking into the future, I see purple. Purple. A chill in the air. Definitely expecting um, pump spells from them. My arrow won't miss. You're mine. So I'm not sure if I should use brittle steel or not on you know they go pump spell. Maybe maybe not. It'd be good for me if they just don't play any pump spells and they just let this happen and go to the next turn because then because they had seven cards in hand. Okay, so they still have seven cards in hand. All right, so I can I can spend one mana to get a Rhymefang Wolf. That's probably worth it. Turn that card into a one mana Rhymefang Wolf. Okay, cool. Let that happen. They have seven cards. They're getting th those three. And so if they don't play anything, they're burning their next card. Oh no, they did have something to play. Man, I thought that we were going to st uh, stick them and, and burn a card. That's that's a really good spacey sketcher. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. So I don't have any frostbite for Lisa now. Yeah, Mentor the Stone's pretty good. 
Okay, got a Brittle Seal. That doesn't help Lee Sin, of course, but... Do not fear the Shrouded Path. I can help against Zed. If Trifarian's Assessor still costs 4 me, and the next turn I'd be able to go Assessor and then Ice Hill Archer. There we go. And Brittle Steel is awesome. One mana. Yeah. All right, the Go Hard deck. It'll be interesting. Interesting to see how this deck matches up against Go Hard. Hmm. Putting Trifarian Assessor back, but it's it's a card that I'd like to draw. But hopefully after it gets the plus one plus one from Omen Hawk. No, deciding against Mountain Diana. I've had kind of. 50-50 results and stuff with Mountain Diana. I, yeah, I'm just dis deciding against that one. I like that deck, though, still, but... Um, I think, like, with this metagame, it kind of needs a little bit of a retooling to be better against, like, Fearsome and stuff. One mana T2. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on banning Fiora, Fiora Shen a decent amount. This is a good matchup to face because I'm not planning on banning Gohard. So I, I should be facing Gohard a lot. Or at least, you know, like whenever people have it. There's nothing to fear. Man, that, that was a really tough decision for them to play that turn two Elise. You won't suffer long. I'm rolling again, of course, not the best with, with the double troll chant. But. Cool. So say hopefully we find some other stuff to do. A true Felyorian welcome. We'll just play a 5 3 that can attack and pressure them. Hey, what's up, Choo Choo? How you doing? We're getting our last of our seasonal tournament practice in, We're getting ready for tomorrow. That's a really good Petty Officer. I don't see Petty Officer that much in this deck, but that obviously a 3-1 matches up really, really well against a 5-3. I guess I'm going to have to just Troll Chant and kill it. We'll just take out both halves. Uh, it does one damage to my spell archer, but we'll have our troll chance just to trade with uh, the entire petty officer. Keep up, keep up. I need just a moment. Yeah, the Omen Hawks. Omen Hawks definitely doing good work getting these health up you know, higher than one, so they don't just die to go hards, definitely. And now we're going to have the Avros and Hearthguard next turn that will kind of do the same thing. Let's do this! Skitter out from the darkness. If it's a fight they want... Let's keep these above. Um, keep them above one health. Many tribes under one banner. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't. Okay, there we go. I say I, I can't uh, affect how fast my opponent plays or not. All right, 
they're down to eight. Trifarian Assessor is my best draw. Ash is not bad either, though. We'll take that. Um, I think I'm going to lead with Babbling Bjerg, though. Because Bjerg could draw Trifarian Assessor now. They're probably going to have, you know, they, I'm sure they have go hard, so they're going to go hard, kill the Ice Veil Archer. Yeah, let's go, Bjerg. Right okay. Hey, they figured it out. Save the homestead. Victory requires a sharp blade. Yeah, that's true, Ducky. That's a good call. They could be lagging real hard. Maybe they're maybe they're playing on mobile and baking a cake also. Oh. So the open attack's pretty good. Because that is, you know, putting ten damage on them, but it's so tempting so tempting to play Trifarian Assessor or Ash. Like either one of these is really tempting to play first. I uh, guess you guess you gotta worry about ruination. This of course, you know, forces them to have like vengeance. Um, <laughs> really captive? There you go. You're, you're watching on mobile and making a cake? Yeah, I'll just do the open attack, but man, it's so it's so tempting to play these cards. You know, like, I play Ash, they play Ruination. That'd be sad. Alright, I'll let them do that atrocity. That's fine. We'll go ahead and take zero damage. GG's. 4 and 0. Oh. Good job, Omenhawk. Okay, playing against some dragons. Dragons are real good. Let's see what we got. So I don't think the Brittle Steel is going to have a ton of targets. I'm going to keep the Ice Veil Archer Culling Strike combo. And then Trapper's a good... Turn three play. <laughs> yeah, I should just put in like Field of Rush or something for the opponents to ban so I get to play this deck. Another day guarding the walls. That'd be pretty good. Um Do I just want to trade two drops? Or would I rather that trade with Trapper and save Glory Seeker for later? Maybe that. Maybe save Glory Seeker to try to fight. Um you know, like the five mana dragon, the four or five challenger. Joke debate. Or a Shivana. Hot on the trail. Hmm. I'll need to give them the opening to spend that extra one mana on a pump spell. Never again will we fall to dragon. Use pump spell. Prepare for battle. I don't want them using sharp sight, getting free kill. If they want to use sharp sight here on the dragon guard lieutenant. Okay, I guess you know I got. I guess maybe I could have tried to save both of them, but I didn't want them getting free kill. It's a difficult turn. I'd like to play Glory Seeker against 4-5 Challenger, but I just don't really have that ability to. Yep, yeah, the 4-5 Challenger. Figured. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was just pass. Yeah, maybe it was just pass. The war mother will unite us all. Shroud the world in wings. I need to 
just a moment. All right, so Trifarian Assessor or Icefield Archer combo to kill this 7 7. I guess Icefield Archer combo. Kill the 7 7. They're likely planning on Aurelian Soul next turn. I could challenge the Herald of Dragons to keep them from Aurelian Soul next turn. No closer. Our time is over. It's gonna be a close game. Alright, they didn't need to hit all the dragons for Aurelian Soul. The heavens diminish without my attention. Yeah, so they have a two mana spell. Likely likely a single combat. Harsh Winds is my best draw. Yep, there's single combat. I guess I could have played around that a little better by, by playing the Omen Hawk. My, how they stare. Brittle Steel. Fortunately, best case scenario, this attack puts them down to one. Yeah, the, the, the problem was like the. I don't know, the wolf was like a challenger, so it was a good good card to have afterwards. Yeah, another one of those. That's pretty awesome. Can we get one point of damage across? Harsh Winds is good. Unfortunately, I need. I guess I need to use this Troll Chant on the Aurelian Soul before. Because it, it's a 12 mana if I want to go like... I guess I could go Harsh Winds on those and then Reckoning. So maybe I just go Culling Strike instead of Reckoning. So Reckoning kills two of my things. I don't think my opponent's stream sniping at all. What do you... Why Why is this just a stream sniping move? Like, they, What do you think? Like, they, they sh definitely should not attack with the Aurelian Soul with three health. There's no reason for that thing to attack. But, like, so, yeah, they're, they're debating between this, the 7-7. Seven, seven, it, it could kill, like, one thing, but then it goes down to... Um... Uh, but then, but then it goes, you know, it goes down to easy brittle steel range. Yes, they're expecting harsh winds for sure. So I guess I need need to do that kind of stuff a little bit more proactively. Ah, oh, that is so perfect where I have to use Harsh Winds and I don't get to Troll Chant. Oh man, I wish I could Troll Chant here. 
So I have to use Harsh Wind, so then, then they can still Concerted Strike afterwards. Maybe they don't have Concerted Strike. Ooh, maybe they don't have Concerted Strike. They don't have it. Awesome. Okay, got the win. Yeah, that was close. That was close. Whew. Yeah, so that, yeah. So if they, yeah, I agree that that was a bad pass for them. So if they, they were probably expecting harsh wins, right? Like, like they were expecting that. But if the, if they are expecting that, like you you still have to attack because as we saw there, um, if they don't attack, if they didn't have like the answer to stop me from dealing the the point of damage, you have to attack and you gotta make me play the harsh winds then and and you know try to play defense. But um, yeah, exactly. So they didn't attack due to due to harsh winds due to being scared of harsh winds, but then past knowing they couldn't defeat harsh winds from drawing so i feel like they got to make the attack um so there we go uh no we didn't drop in ranks we gained points when you're in master's rank you the more the bigger the number you have the better because you you uh you gain points for each win you lose points for each loss so you start with zero and you go up from there um so, yeah, so they had lethal. They got, yeah, they they, they should have just gone for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, there we go. So mid-range frostbite, good start. Rhyme Thing Wolf looked really good. Yeah, this card looked really good. I was very happy with it all the time. And frequently, you know, I'm worried about the 3-2 body, but multiple times it was 4-3 thanks to Omen Hawk. Um, so, yeah, so far in just five games, I was really, really happy with Omen Hawk. Or sorry, sorry, with Ryan Peng Wolf, and I think it was better than Avaros and Sentry and um, uh, Captain Farron. Even though that that last game, I wish it was Captain Farron because we could have finished the game out with the decimate. But um, yeah, the Ryan Peng Wolf is still very good in those games. All right, so so far so good. Five and zero. Oh, that's part one of our seasonal tournament practice with mid range frostbite. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and please leave those comments as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to be right back with our uh, next part with the same deck. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.